Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net and this tutorial is about replacing or installing a new CD-ROM drive in your computer. This DVD burner is going to replace the old CD-ROM here. So before we start, let's make sure that you unplug the power cord from the computer and ground yourself to prevent static electricity. Remove the side panel. In this case, both side panels need to be removed. Remove the power cable from the drive by pulling it backwards with an up and down motion. The same applies to the IDE cable. Pull it backwards with an up and down motion. Not too hard so you won't damage the pins. Remember for this tutorial, both panels need to be removed. Go ahead and unscrew the drive from the bay. Not all computer systems are the same. Some of them bring a rail type bay. Some of them are clip type bay. But it's basically the same for uh, removing and reinstalling. It's not that hard. Once you finish unscrewing the uh, drive from the bay, slide the drive forward or pull it to the front since we are replacing the drive we're gonna make sure that the new drive has the same jumper configuration as the old drive the old drive has the jumper settings set to slave because I already have one drive already installed in the system if you're only installing just one drive, it, the jumper select should be set to master. Since I have two, I'm going to put the jumper settings set to slave, just as the old one. Make sure the IDE cable notch matches the notch on the drive so you won't damage the pins. And the top portion of the power is kind of curve has a curve and the bottom portion is flat make sure that is aligned too just slide the new one in with the jumper settings properly configured and this one I had it on slave so I put the new one on slave also make sure that when you uh, slide it in it's properly aligned to the plates or to the CD-ROM that is already installed so it would look nice and neat. Screw the drive back in the bay. Just press the IDE cable. Remember that it needs to be aligned with a notch on the top and the power cable the flat portion goes kinda towards the bottom and the curve goes to the top. Once it's installed you can go ahead and put the side panel back, screw it onto the uh, computer, plug the computer power back on, and that's it. Your computer should be working normal. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or visit my site. Thank you.